Plans for Idaho's first shopping mall were announced in August of 1963. The complex would be built on a 35-acre tract on a former alfalfa field located at the intersection of Karcher Road and U.S. Highway 30. The original shopping hub was a single-level, fully enclosed structure which encompassed approximately 103,000 leasable square feet. The mall's first tenants were Kenny Shoes, the Karcher Mall Barber Shop, a 34,000 square foot Buttery Foods Grocery, opened for business on August 26, 1965. Four additional stores and services were dedicated on September 15th. Andre's Beauty Supply and Sauna, Ann's Flowers, a Sprouse Wrights Five and Dime, and a 30,000 square foot Tempo Discount Center. Construction commenced on Phase 1 of the Southward Edition on March 8, 1967. This $3 million project expanded the existing mall southward. New stores included Irene's Fashions, Singer's Sewing Center, Skaggs Drug Center, and the Boise-based ID Store. The centerpiece of the renovation was a two-level, 140,000 square foot JCPenney. This store was dedicated along with the new South Wing on October 23, 1968. Following the opening, JCPenney closed four nearby stores in downtown Nampa, Caldwell, Emmett, and Payette. In late 1969, the mall's discount variety store was rebranded as Rasco Tempo. A Phase 2 southward expansion was announced on July 26, 1972. Work got underway in January of 1973. This project would add a one-level 60,000 square foot The Bon Marche, the Virgil Odell Red and Blue Twin Cinemas, and 19 new inline stores. The expanded South Wing opened for business on August 3rd, 1973. Karcher Mall now encompassed approximately 600,000 leasable square feet and housed 50 stores and services. Rasco Tempo closed in March of 1976. The vacant store was replaced by an F.W. Woolworths Five and Dime. With these improvements, Karcher Mall covered approximately 517,900 leasable square feet and contained 50 stores and services. There was enough parking for 2,100 cars. In 1986, Karcher Mall featured 74 businesses when it was sold from Dom Industries to Standard Management Company for about $14 million. In 1986, Fox ID closed its remaining 55 stores. The Fox ID store sold two locations, including the store at the mall, to Anthony's. In July of 1987, Buttrees closed its five Treasure Valley locations, including the store and the mall. The mall underwent a $1 million renovation and the former Buttree store was split into two anchor tenants with discount furniture and house of fabrics. The Karcher Mall encountered its first bona fide competitor in October of 1988. Boise Town Square opened 16 miles east in Boise, Idaho. The new mall would take their main anchor, J.C. Penney, closed along with several other inline stores. To add insult to injury, Boise Town Square was expanded to 1.1 million square feet with additions in 1998 and 2000. In 1989, the first level of the old pennies was leased to Troutman's Emporium, aka the Emporium. By 1993, Karcher Mall housed stores such as the Hub Clothing in the old ID store space and the Payless Drug in the Skag space and a Sears catalog and appliance. Unfortunately, the shopping center was in foreclosure by the mid-1990s. It was bought and sold several times with a major renovation done in 1988. Earlier, in 1991, Anthony's closed. 
In 1997, Woolworths closed its mall location. In 1998, a $10 million renovation project included the installation of an upper level food court and a new main entrance. Empty retail spaces were leased. Intermountain Sports replaced Woolworths with Joanne Fabrics assuming the Payless drug space. Big Five Sporting Goods set up shop in the North Wing. Despite the major renovations, the mall began losing more retailers and customers. Napa Furniture, which was originally known as Discount Furniture until 1990, and Idaho Furniture Mart until 1991, relocated to a larger building across the street in September of 1999. The mall's movie theater was shut down in February of 2000 after its owner, Real Theaters, relocated to another building across the street. Short-lived anchor Intermountain Sports left the mall abruptly in 2001, though it was quickly replaced by a variety of U.S. factory outlets by the end of the year. Just one month after losing Intermountain Sports, Sears relocated to a newly constructed shopping center north of the Karcher Mall. Shortly after, Joanne's Fabrics relocated to the former space left by Sears. In late 2001, Ross Dress for Less were added to the former two anchor tenants left by the former Joanne Fabrics and Nampa Furniture. In 2003, Emporium, the mall's largest tenant, was closed after its parent company, the Troutman Company, couldn't secure a new financing package or sell the stores after a Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing in 2002. The mall's West Anchor was rebannered as Bond Macy's on August 1, 2003. In March of 2004, the mall had 172,000 square feet of empty retail space, according to a real estate report. On March 6, 2005, Bond Macy's, or Bon Marche, closed. It would reopen as Macy's. The shopping hubs changed hands four more times. Milan Properties began a refurbishment in 2008. A more ambitious remodeling, which had been proposed by the previous owners, was scrapped. Milan's scaled-down renovation concentrated on a facelift of the interior, remodeling of the entrances, and a painting of the exterior. The $14 million project was completed in the spring of 2009. As part of the refurbishment, New Burlington Coat Factory and Steve and Barry's University Sportswear stores had opened. Unfortunately, Steve and Barry's closed after only 11 months. Macy's closed on October 14, 2009. It had moved to the new open-air Nampa Gateway Center. A Karcher Mall's Macy's Clearance Center remained intact for a time. The Macy's Clearance Center at Karcher Mall was finally closed in July of 2014. The standard Macy's store morphed into a more furniture for less in June of 2016. In September of 2018, the Burlington store closed. Rhino Investments bought Karcher Mall in May of 2019. A $30 million demalling was soon proposed. An 81,000 square foot section of the South Wing would be demolished and the enclosed shopping concourse converted into inline store space. A revitalized power center, known at first as Karcher Marketplace, would include 260 residential units. A photo op groundbreaking was held in November of 2019, with demolition on the south wing getting underway soon after. The official name of the shopping complex was eventually changed to District 208. You're going to see some big changes to the former Karcher Mall. Construction is happening all over Nampa and more major projects are on the way. The city held a groundbreaking ceremony earlier this morning. It's reported that a new owner planned to revitalize the shopping center. Then in 2020, crews began demolishing more than 120,000 feet of mall space. And today we're now getting a better idea of what those plans are. 
and have daily needs taken care of. Which is what they're doing. Chopra says District 208 will consist of more than 250 residential units, retail, and storage, and it'll be built behind the former mall. A lot of two bedrooms, a lot of three bedrooms. Uh, Nampa has a need for a lot of families, and so we really allocated 75% of our uh, units towards those families. Construction resumed in late January of 2022 after nearly two years delay. The rear parking lot broke ground. If you like this content, leave a comment below about your memories of this mall, or if you have a suggestion for a future video. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see histories about defunct or maybe not so defunct stores, head on over to my other channel, Eric C. Productions. Thanks.